I arrive on scene, the scene appears to be safe. I've got my standard precautions. I see one patient, she's sitting up, appears responsive. There's no obvious mechanism of injury. I have the resources I need right now. Patrol dispatch, this is Matt, I'm on scene. Completed my scene size up and approach the patient. I don't see any evidence of a mechanism of injury that would require C-spine. I don't see any major bleeding that requires a tourniquet. She's sitting up talking to me, so she doesn't need CPR. I'm gonna go ahead and assess her airway and breathing by talking to her. Hi, my name is Matt. I'm one of the ski patrollers. Can I help you? Yes, please. Okay, what's your name? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Can we just cut this out? I'm gonna say it now. We can cut this part out. Um, Gladys. And Gladys, how old are you? 72. Okay, and what's going on today? My chest really hurts. It feels tight. And it's, it really hurts a lot. Is it okay if we check you out? Yes. All right. I feel your pulse. So she's awake, conscious, talking to me. She's got an open airway, no issues with the airway. Her breathing seems to be adequate and non-labored. I'm not concerned about that right now. She's got a strong, regular radial pulse and good capillary refill. Her skin is warm, pink, and dry. So I'm satisfied with my ABCs. Uh, I don't see any evidence of disability. She's moving all her extremities spontaneously. We're inside a warm environment, so I'm not worried about the environment. If we find any injuries or concerns, we'll expose those as we go. So I'm complete with my primary assessment. I'm going to work on my secondary assessment. Okay, just a couple questions for you. Are you allergic to anything? Penicillin. Okay. What happens if you take penicillin? I'm not really sure. Okay. Just, just one of those things on the younger. list. And do you take any medicines? Yeah, metropolal. Okay. Anything else? Just that. And have you taken that today? Yes. Um, any, what are you on that for? A beta blocker. Okay. Or blood pressure. Okay. Other than high blood pressure, any other medical problems? Well, I had a hip replacement last year. But last year. Everything's okay good with that? Now, yeah. What was the last thing you had to eat or drink? I had some eggs this morning. And what were you doing when this discomfort in your chest started? Just sitting, um, looking out the window really, not really doing anything. Had you been skiing today? No. Any falls? No falls. Hit your head on anything? So you said the discomfort began about 20 minutes ago. Have you done anything that's made it feel any better? Not really. I, I didn't really know what to do, so I just, seeing if it got worse, it's not really going away. Okay. Anything that's make, that makes it worse? No. About the same all the time. Uh, tell me again, what does the discomfort feel like? How would you describe it? Um, it feels like I have something pushing on, pushing on my chest. It's like really tight. Pushing tightness. And does that go anywhere else, or is it always just right there in your chest? It just stays my chest. On a scale from 0 to 10, 10 being the worst, how bad is that discomfort right now? Probably a 6. And does it come or go over time or does it stay the same? It's pretty constant. How did you get here today? I drove with my daughter and granddaughter. How did you get here today? I drove with my daughter and granddaughter. And take a deep breath for me. Does anything change when you do that? Nothing really changes. It doesn't feel that great because my chest feels pretty tight. Okay. When my partner gets here, we're going to go ahead and get you on some oxygen to make it easier to breathe. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and measure your vital signs. Just going to feel your pulse. Got a pulse of 72 and a respiratory rate of 16. Who are you here with today? Um, just my, my daughter and, and her daughter, my granddaughter. All right. Well, certainly we're concerned where you're having chest pain. And what I'd like to do is go ahead and get an ambulance coming for you and have them take you to the hospital just in case anything changes or 
just to be safe, and that way they can give you any medicines that you might need. Is that okay? Okay. Patrol dispatch, this is Matt. I'm on scene with a 72-year-old female in the lodge. She's complaining of chest pain. Like an ambulance to the lodge, please. And when my partners get here, we're going to go ahead and put you on some oxygen just to make it a little easier to breathe. All right. The last thing I'd like to do is I'd just like to do a physical exam to make sure that you don't have any other injuries or conditions while we're waiting for the ambulance to get here. Is that okay with you? Yes. All right. I'm going to go ahead and start with your head. Any pain in your head at all? No. All feels okay? And down your neck feels okay? See a necklace here. Do you have any medical alerts? No. No. Looking at the rest of your neck, all looks good, neck veins look good, trachea looks good, shoulders feel okay, another slow breath for me, good, any pain on breathing, rib cage feels okay, and you said breakfast this morning, mm -hmm. the belly feels okay, yeah, it's fine. normal bowel movement, mm -hmm. normal urination, okay. just checking your legs real quick, ankles, no swelling in your ankles, you ever get swelling in your ankles? No. Okay, wiggle your toes for me, both sides. Any numbness or tingling? No. Okay. Good perfusion, good pulses in the feet. Same thing in the arms. Arms all feel okay? Yes. Go ahead and give me a squeeze. Good. Good strong pulse, good capillary refill. Same thing the other side. Coming down, give me a squeeze. Good. And pulse. And capillary refill. And when my partner gets here, we're also just going to measure your blood pressure and put you on the pulse oximeter and make sure that your oxygen levels are okay. And the ambulance should be here in a few minutes. Okay. We're going to continue to monitor her vital signs every three to five minutes while we wait. And we'll transport her out of the lodge into the aid room. And we're done. <laughs> Resume <laughs> giggling. <laughs> Can you, cut, you can just have to giggle out and it'll work, right? Yeah. Yeah, that'll be fine. When did you giggle? Why? Why did you try to giggle at us? <laughs>